Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. So in this tutorial I will show you how we can create this kind of videos in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way if you like short 3D simulation videos you can check out my second channel link in the description. So now without any further ado let's start today's video. So here you can see I'm using Blender 3.2.1. Okay. So now let's select everything in this default scene by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. So first of all, I will import a character with the animation that I have downloaded from Mixamo. So if you want to know how to download characters with the animation, you can click on the I card above or else you can check a link in the description for the tutorial. So first of all, let me import that one. So go to this file, import it is an FBX file. So select this FBX and let me look at this file. So here is the file and import. So here we got that character along with the animation. So let me increase the scaling, press S and increase the scaling. So here you can say I got this running animation, but it is only of few frames. So here I want this animation to be continued throughout the timeline. So here you can either copy and paste this keyframe side by side or else you can select this armature, click on these options here and change this to non-linear animation. Let me increase this one and click on this push down action button. Now place the cursor on this timeline, press N on the keyboard, select this strip options, scroll down, come to this action clip, expand this one. Here we will get this repeat option, just increase the number. So here you can see I got this repeated to 15 times so that it covers this timeline completely. So now we got this animation throughout the timeline. So let me change this back to the timeline so let me come here and change this to timeline and here i will change this to 350 frames and let me see whether this animation stays no again i need to increase the count so let me change this to long linear animation and let me increase the repeat count okay so count to the timeline fine so now here i got the animation throughout the timeline so here you can see we got this animation continuously playing throughout the timeline nice so let me hide out this armature first so select the armature click on this to hide it in viewport okay so now let's add a cube so go to this add mesh select cube here so press s and increase the scaling so that our character completely fits inside this cube so here we need to increase this a bit and now okay so now let's increase the scaling in z-axis so s z and increase the scaling in z-axis so let me enable this x-ray vision so press one for front view so now select this cube first let me place this here just here so be on the first frame so be on the first frame select the cube press i on the keyboard and add a keyframe for this location so now move forward in timeline like 320 frames and let's place the cube here like this and make sure the cube covers this animated character completely and press I on the keyboard and add a keyframe for this location. So now being selected these two keyframes, press T and change this to linear. So if we are not using that waveform, you can say the starting will be slow, the middle will be fast and ending will be slow. So to make this in a constant speed, we need to select the keyframes, both the keyframes, press T and change this to linear. So now the speed will be constant nice after that select the character come to this modifier options add modifier and add boolean modifier here so now operation type let it be object let it be set to difference only so now in object we need to select this cube so let me select this eyedropper and select this cube here so now if i play this and let me change the solver to first so here you can see as this cube drops down, the character mesh is disappearing. So if I hide this cube here, you can see the character mesh is disappearing. Let me disable the X-ray also. So here we got this kind of effect after adding this Boolean modifier. So let me bring back this cube. So here you can see this is making this mesh to cut in straight way. So here we don't want to be like that. So let's add displace modifier. So let's select the cube. Let me place this in the first frame. Now select the cube. Let me add some subdivisions. So press tab on the keyboard for edit mode, right click, subdivide, and let me add few subdivisions here. 
so these many are enough now again press tab to exit the edit mode so now being selected this cube come to this modifier options add modifier and add displace modifier so we got displace modifier here so now we need to add texture so come to this texture options here at this bottom and add a new texture come to this type change it to clouds okay so that we'll get this clouds texture now again move back to this physics properties sorry come to this modifier properties so here let's reduce the strength to 0.25 so now we'll get some uneven surface now right click here it's smooth okay so now let's play this and say so now if i move here and if i hide the cube so now you can see the cutting of this mesh is not even so this is what i wanted okay nice so now let's work on the particle system so let's bring back the cube here and let's move to the starting frame so now if we apply the particle system onto this character it will emit the particles throughout the body so let me show you first so select this character come to this particles add new particles and change it to let it be emitter only and source come to the source options and enable this use modify stack so now if i play this you can see the particles are emitting from all over the mesh so we don't want this to happen we want only the particles to be emitting from the surface where this cube is touching okay so come to this particles option let's select the character come to this physics property and add dynamic paint here so type let it be canvas and add canvas here so format let it be vertex enable this anti-aliasing for smooth edges here paint edges and frame start and end let it be 1 to 350 so surface type change it to weight okay so now select the cube here add dynamic paint and type change it to brush so now click on this add brush here so now scroll down and source change it to mesh volume press proximity and distance let me reduce this to 0.25 so i will explain what this distance does so now if i play this you can see nothing seems to be happening here right now so here select this character come to this vertex group here so scroll up and click on this plus icon to add vertex group and by the way if you are not using any animated character you will not get this rig options you will get the blank or empty space so here i am using this animation character so for that reason i got this rig options so whichever you use either you use the character with animation or without animation click on this plus icon to create a vertex group and let me rename this as vertex group okay after that come to this physics property scroll down we will have this output option expand this one so in vertex group we need to select the vertex group which we have created so this is the one which we have created select that vertex group here okay after that being selected our character if i change this to weight paint mode you can see we are getting this three colors here so let me change this to x-ray vision so here red indicates fully influenced blue indicates it's not influenced so here actually we want this between surface which is having this green and yellow right we want this to be thin so that is the distance value so if i change this to let me move to this object cube and if i change this distance to 0.1 and if i again select the character and if i move on to this vertex paint you can see the distance or the thickness is getting reduced so this is the function of this distance so it reduces the thickness here so i think point one is fine so now let me hide out this cube so now let's select the character once again and duplicate it by pressing shift plus d so we got this duplicate copy here you can see this is one character this is duplicated one so i will change this to so now i will hide out this main character i will select this duplicate particles character so now we need to add mask modifier so come to this modifier properties add modifier and add mask modifier so where is this select this mask modifier so in this vertex group we need to select the group which we have created so scroll down so here is the group so if i select that one you can see we are getting that only portion here so if i move forward in timeline we are getting that only portion visible so for this mesh we will be applying the particles so select the mesh come to this particle system add particles here we need to enable this use modify stack so now you can see we got the particles visible and by the way if i play from 
this starting frame you can see the particles are falling down here so we need to check the frame where this cube will be touching so let me enable the cube and let me enable this character also so now if i move forward so at this frame the cube will be touching so i will start the particles from this frame so 16 so let the particle start from this 16th frame okay and let the particles and let me think okay let the particles end at this 315 so i will change this to 315 particles end and lifetime i want them to be throughout the timeline so i will change this to 350 frames and life randomness if you want you can give so let me hide out this cube once again select the cube nice so now if i play this we have our particles falling down so you can see we got the particles here and they are falling down so now in this place of these particles i will be using diamonds so here i have downloaded these diamonds from sketchfab so let's add them to a new collection so select all these diamonds right click and new collection i will change this to let me rename this to diamonds and let me select all these diamonds here and let's move them on to this so here i have moved all these diamonds into this new collection diamonds collection okay so now in the place of these particles i will use this diamond so for that let's select this mesh where we are getting the particles so here we are using this main character so for this main character we have not applied the particles so for this mesh where we have applied the mask modifier we have applied particles to that so select that mesh okay now scroll down come to this render options where is that come to this render options render as change it to collection and in collection we need to select the collection which we have created so this is the collection so let me select that now you can see we got the diamonds here so let's increase the scaling a bit so i will change this to 0.1 so this much is fine or else let me change this to 0.25 okay this much is fine and let me enable this rotation option and physics and okay i think that is fine and rest and all i will leave like that only so now let me enable the character and let's play this once again so now if i play this we can see that these diamonds are emitting from the character so i think i need to reduce the scale so let me reduce the scaling here i'll reduce this to 0.1 so this much is fine okay it's good and let's see so here if we observe these particles or these diamonds are will be falling down so we need to add an obstacle here so i will add a plane for that so let's add a plane so go to this add mesh select plane here press s and increase the scaling so i think this much is fine so now we need to add collision property so select this plane come to this physics property add collision so let's see this so play this one so here the plane is also added into this diamond collection so let me expand this one so here you can see the plane is added into this diamond collection so let's delete this one now let's close this so select this scene collection and add a plane now so go to this add mesh select a plane so now it will be out of the diamond collection so now let's add collision property select the plane add collision property and let's play this so now you can see these diamonds are not passing through these are colliding with the plane but they are bouncing too much so let's reduce this bounciness value so for that select the plane come to this particle properties here increase this stickiness value to 2 so let's play this once again so now these diamonds are not bouncing that much so let me increase this value to 2.5 okay i think this will be fine but here we'll be having another issue so let me move here so here you can see these diamonds will be passing through this plane will be halfway down through this plane so we need to fix that one 
so for that we need to select the particles select this particle mesh and come to this particle properties and here i think we need to increase this deflection come to this deflection and enable this size deflect simply enable that one so now let's play this once again so now we can see these diamonds are not passing through the plane nice so finally let's increase this particle count so scroll up and i will increase this particle count to 25000 okay and let me save the project so after increasing this particle count we need to bake this simulation so being selected this mesh where we have applied this particle system being selected that one scroll down come to this cache options so here we need to click on this bake button so simply click on this bake button here so it starts to bake the simulation so once the baking is done we are good to render the scene so in this way we can create this kind of videos in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye